It all started one morning when Captain Brigley the Fox, a very serious fox, came out of his hole to find the world had taken on a different shade. And what really struck Captain Brigley was that he never really noticed the world much, but now that it had changed hue, he couldn't recall what color it was to begin with. And after experiencing a fleeting feeling of fright, he decided to go ahead and resume his normal routine. So Captain Brigley the Fox, nose to the ground and tail half cocked, he leisurely walked, though somewhat swiftly. He couldn't remember the way for a minute, cause everything now looks so much different. Once again, Captain felt the sensation of feeding fright. But Captain Brigley the Fox, a very cool fox, could not be talked into being afraid. Until he got up to his brother's house and his brother was dead. He got up to his sister's house and his sister was dead. Oh. Captain Brigley, he couldn't believe it, I can't believe it, is what he was saying. I can't believe it, is what he was saying. And of course he was bowing and crying. So Captain Brigley the fox, nose like an arrow, ran far away from the home of his youth. You never know how things are gonna go. Just when you think life looks pretty good. Turns out everyone you know is dead Didn't see that one coming, did you, Capitan? The captain healed pretty quick and before you knew it he had a companion And though the color never changed back he grew to like it and even love it and his wife was such a good cook that Captain hardly remembered his family. And when people would ask him about him, he'd just give him a look. Like this. And people would shriek in terror at such a fright. And Captain Brigley would go on ahead and resume his normal routine. Yes, Captain Brigley the Fox would straighten his tie and look at his watch, then leisurely walk down the block. When he wasn't there, they'd whisper about him. Captain Brigley would come up behind them, and when they would see him, they'd feel the sensation of fleeting fright. But Captain Brigley the fox, a very cool fox, could not be provoked by something so trite. Until one day in a fit of rage, his wife left him alone. She took the kids, she took the food, she took their happy home. Oh, Captain Brigley, he couldn't believe it, I can't believe it, is what he was saying. I can't believe it, is what he was saying. Then of course he was bowing and crying. So Captain Brigley the fox, tail underneath, ran far away from his beautiful life. Ain't so bad to be alone. Got a lot to do out here on my own. Ain't so bad. Is it Capitan? But it didn't take long for Captain Brigley to buck up and rise above it all. And before too long, he was finding new ways to change the world. He invented TV for sound, and I think even the electric light bulb, but of course some other fellows took credit for everything he'd done. He tried and tried, but he couldn't make a dime. So Captain Brigley invented new ways to spend all his free time. Yes, Captain Brigley the Fox, feeling a little bit down on his luck, invented the clock. Tick. And suddenly everything ran on the minute and the whole universe and everything in it slowed down to a crawl and everything started to grow old. And Captain Brigley the Fox, quite unaware of what he had done, was finally rich and famous. Out on them streets of solid gold All life is looking pretty good again but I feel like I'm getting old <sighs> And 
I guess you'd expect something disastrous to happen here, but no, it just grew old and nothing much else ever happened to Captain Brigley the Fox. Till the end of his life when he found a cliff and decided to take flight. And so was the end of Captain Brigley. It happened quite quickly and nobody watched. Thank you.